All right. Uh, let me talk about working with a new deck. Now, I love tarot decks. I love oracle decks. Um, and this is how I work with a new one. So here's a deck I got a couple months or a couple months ago. And this is the Deep, Dark, and Dangerous Oracle deck by Stacy DeMarco. And the first thing I do when I get a new deck is a consecration ceremony. And that's when I do a ritual and I ask the deity to bless the deck. I ask to have the deck attuned to me to where it's going to be a part of me to do readings for myself or to do readings for other people. And if I get the blessing from the deity, then I can work with the deck. It has happened that the consecration ceremonies do not work. There are times when you try to get a deck and the DD is just like, I'm sorry, dude, that deck is just not for you. And it has happened. So sometimes you, you get a good deck, sometimes you don't. So after I do my consecration ceremony, if I get a good feeling, I work with the deck. This one, I did my ceremony. I got a fantastic feeling, so... I have worked with it about three or four times, and this is the next few steps I do. Um, I read the little booklet that comes with the deck. I know, you know, I've said, you know, just throw out the booklet, just go with your intuition, but I think it's important to know what the artist, what the originator, what their intent was, what they planned for the deck. Um, what they want the artwork to mean. Um, and there's a lot in that. So I think it's important to read the booklet. And the first few times, you know, if your intuition isn't able to get a read on the cards, you know, look at the book, see what the book says, and go from there. But that's the first thing I do. Read the book. Keep the book handy in case you need to look at it. And then when it comes to actually looking at the deck, I look through the cards, kind of get familiar with them, what they mean. Um, and as always, you know, mixing up the deck, it's just what you feel like doing. Sometimes you just want to cut the cards. Sometimes you'll do the random shuffle like this. Um, sometimes you'll do the standard deck shuffle like this sometimes you'll just mix them side by side it's just whatever you feel at the time and if you're doing a reading for somebody i always let the other person mix the cards i you know it's their reading i let them handle the cards as much as possible but if i'm working with a new deck and i'm trying to get familiar with it and trying to learn it i'll do the shuffling and then I'll just do a three card read. Okay, here's the first one is uh, Resilience, Silia. Now, one thing I've noticed about um, Oracle decks, they don't talk about reversed readings. They, you know, like in the normal tarot deck, you know, you've got a reading if it's reversed, if it's upside. But this, this, like this deck, it doesn't mention if it's reversed. So I think that when a deck, when a card is reversed, it's very important. So I just go with an opposite meaning. Um, with this one, it's resilience. So the opposite of resilience is you break. Resilience something happens, you get back. If you can't get back, it's broken, you break. You lose a part of yourself. Um, that's my intuition. And you see, you know, the girl is sorry. I mean, she's feeling sad. She looks upset. And when I'm learning the deck, I just look at the card, look at the book and see what it says. And this one says, boom, uh, life throws adversity at you. There is no escaping this. 
yet building resilience allows you to handle this better. So reversed means I look at that and I'm thinking, okay, something happened that I wasn't able to bounce back from, that I wasn't able to recover from. So that's something I'm dealing with. And then next card is gratification, the Sphinx. Now, first, always go with your intuition. Look at the, you know, hold the card, look at it. You're, you know, you see uh, Egyptian ruler with a cat on her lap, pyramids in the back. She looks happy. If, you know, a little gratification. She's, you know, she's happy about the situation she's in. Um, the rewards she's getting, um, her place, her status, everything is good. So, that's my intuition. But then I'll look in the book and see what the book says. Do, do, do. Um, mark your successes. Use your intellect. Be wise. And as such, know that you can't know it all. Be curious. So, you know, that's kind of close. So when I look at this, I'm like... Okay, something happened I didn't bounce back from, but I'm getting some gratification from that. I'm getting some feeling of accomplishment. And the next card is Hunger, the Vampire. Instantly, I look at this, and that is somebody who is hungry. Somebody who needs knowledge. Somebody who wants more. Somebody who wants to grow. Somebody who wants to learn. Somebody who is in pain if they're not getting what they seek. And again, the first few times, look at the book. You know, see what the book has to say. And here it says, Beware of those draining your energy. Energy. Seek equal relationships. Think before making a serious serious relationship decision. So that's totally different than what I thought. Um, so I, I might rethink this card. You know, I know what my intuition says, and I know what my intuition instantly went to, but the creator's intent was different. So... But there is no what gives you energy and what takes energy away. So, looking at this reading, I'm, I see I didn't, I didn't bounce back from a bad situation or a bad, something bad happened. But I still found gratification in that somehow somehow I still felt that I was growing or learn learning from a bad situation and my hunger it, it, it's again my intuition is different from the card but I can find a you know a happy medium but that's how I work with the new deck practice the deck practice shuffling read the book see what your intuition is See what the intent of the creator is. Find a, a working bounce that you can, you know, you can uh, incorporate into your practice. And, uh, by the way, this deck is really cool. But that's how I work with a new deck. And I hope you uh, can take this knowledge and incorporate it in your practice. As always, thank you.